what's going on family it is thick chick vlogs i am here sitting in the walmart what the hell is walmart sign it shit okay in the walmart parking lot i gotta go in there and buy me a few things <clears throat> like you know staples for um the house bread you know shit like that um i <clears throat> also gotta go in there and give me some acetone because as you can see my nails yeah they are looking mighty raspy but the reason why i let my nails stay on so long because i want to go to the nail salon and get an overlay on my regular nails but the only way that i can get my nails to grow out long enough to get an overlay is to leave the nails on for a good little while so as you can see they have grown up quite a bit so yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna soak these off and i'm gonna go to the nail salon and get an overlay and just um rock my nails that way instead of having the nails like this because they i, I could work with these but it's a you know it's, it's kind of hard you know what i'm saying it's kind of hard to work with them me and the juice man <clears throat> today we went to the movies we went to see um a haunted house 2 which was great by the way so if you haven't seen a haunted house 2 make sure you go and check it out that is with damon not damon wins it's with marlon wins and um it was funny as hell but let me tell you the even funnier thing about us going to the movie theater on today okay we went to the 11.30 movie, you know, the matinee where, you know, it's cheap or whatever, because we woke up. It was a very, very pretty day, and we didn't want to just sit in the house or whatever. So we decided that we wanted to, you know, go to the movie theater. We was going to go out and get some lunch or whatever, because, you know, this is our, you know, eat whatever the hell we want day, technically. Not really. Tomorrow really is it, but we're going to go to church, and, yeah, we got a whole lot of other shit to do tomorrow. So, yeah, we're probably going to be in the house, because I got to do a whole lot of spring cleaning and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, we did that. But the funny thing about it was when we went to the matinee, we were the only people in the movie theater. Okay? So we're sitting there chilling, watching the previews and everything like that. Then all of a sudden, we hear like some strange sounds or whatever. So we look up. It was this lady and a group of people that were coming in. You know, those people with the um, developmental disabilities or whatever you know how a lot of times the people that work at those places they have to take those people out on outings you know to the to the park to um grocery stores to the library just different places they have to take those people but she decides this this lady the one that you know are, are over these people the you know i guess the um <clears throat> i'm not gonna say the supervisor the sitter for that particular day it was like seven of them couple of them were in wheelchairs. This one lady had on a helmet. This other guy, they were just, you know, they, they were, you know, really developmentally challenged, if you know what I mean. So she brings them in there, and I'm thinking to myself, like, are you seriously bringing these people to see this movie? Like, you can't tell me you didn't see a haunted house, the first haunted house. I mean, you can tell from the previews that this is going to be a really ratchet movie, so I didn't really think it was something that was appropriate. For her to be bringing those people to see, you know, they ain't, they, ain't, they ain't my folks, but I'm just, you know, I ain't saying, I'm just saying. So it was the the black lady and another and a white lady that were over the seven people. Hold on, one, two, three. No, it was five of them. It was over. They it was two, a black lady and a white lady that were over the five developmentally challenged people. So we're sitting in the juice man. We're sitting there. We're looking at each other like, okay. So the movie comes on, and it's a lot of sexual, you know, type situations going on in this movie i mean damon wins in the movie i keep saying damon wins marlon wins in the movie having sex with a doll and they you know licking it up and licking booty and all this type of stuff and you know titties and all this type of stuff and the girl's like oh my god i'm so sorry i didn't know it was gonna be like this and i'm thinking to myself bitch you saw that you saw haunted house one bitch you saw haunted house one so you already knew was going to be popping off of in there. I mean, them people, this one lady, she was in there closing her eyes. She was like, I want to go home. I want to go home. I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't trying to laugh, but the shit was kind of funny. It was fucked up. Because they was in there fucking and all this stuff. And them, them, the guys was in there like, you know, they, it was, it was, it was real, real fucked up. That's why I said, I don't know who they work for, but the, see, the black lady is the one that was probably, she was like, I didn't know it was going to be like this. She was apologizing to the, to the other white supervisor lady you know i guess that was you know over them two or whatever i guess it, it takes two of them to handle a certain amount of people so the black girl was apologizing to 
her co-worker, which was the white lady, because the white lady was just in there, she was just shaking her head the whole time, like, I cannot believe that you bought us to see this shit, like, on some for real type stuff, so the white lady was mad, and then the juice man was like, um, I believe she gonna go back and snitch, and I was like, you know what, I believe she probably is, because that movie was pretty crazy, I mean, those people were very de developmentally challenged, I mean, to the point where, one of them was, you know, sliding out of the chair, and this other guy kept taking his feet out of his shoes, putting it in the lady's face, and yeah, it, to that to that degree. So, like I said, I don't know what the hell she was thinking, bringing them to that type of a movie, but yeah, she fucked up big time if that lady decides to snitch, or if somebody see saw them coming up in there, or whatever. You know, yeah, somebody gonna snitch because that, you know, she knew that damn movie was gonna be ratchet. Is that, that shit? I knew you seen one. Hell, even if you saw the damn preview, you know it was going to be ratchet. So, she can't tell me that she didn't know that movie wasn't going to be ratchet. Okay, all these damn parking spaces. This this motherfucker decides he want to come and park next to me. Now, get get your ass in the camera. I swear I'm going to put you on YouTube. I swear I'm going to put you on YouTube because um this motherfucker that pulled up right next to me. When I tell y'all, family, this parking lot damn near empty. Okay, the parking lot is damn near empty, but this son bitch decides he want to pull up next to me. I guess being nosy because he see this camera. Okay, because he see this motherfucking camera. Oh, I want to show y'all my new case. I'm trying to figure out a way for y'all to see it. Shit, y'all ain't gonna be able to see the damn case. I'm tripping. I wish I had a... No, never mind. But it's it's a really, really pretty Hello Kitty case. I might take it off and show you guys one day. It was something else that I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, you guys may not see the Juice Man in any more of my vlogs. And the reason for that being... The reason for that is... It's not that anything is going on, whatever. It's just this motherfuckers is crazy, okay? And, you know, it, it's my channel. I work from home. I work for myself. I don't really... What the fuck? These motherfuckers is crazy. This shit made my damn heart jump out of my chest. This nigga just walking up on my shit. I mean, goddamn. It's empty ass parking lot and you decide to walk your crazy? What the fuck is he doing? Wow. See, I, I be having to watch my shit over here because this is that Walmart that um <clears throat> that guy came up to that lady's car, the old lady, and told her to um give her give him her purse. Like just out of the blue. Like he just came out of nowhere and told the lady, give me your damn purse. Nigga, I'm talking about in a parking lot full of people. And what it was, the lady started screaming and he took off running. Cause motherfuckers at this this ain't this ain't even a black people Walmart. I guess that's probably the reason why he did it. It's the white folks Walmart. I guess niggas think, you know, motherfuckers got money around these ports. But I ain't got nothing for you, boo-boo. Because the only thing I got on me in my, is my cord. And I guarantee you, bitch, you won't get a chance to swipe a motherfucking thing around here. But I'll be on the phone. Do, 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 boop, boop. Or uh, I was just robbed and I'm going to need you to disconnect that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, bitch, you ain't going to get nothing around here. So, um, no, nah, I don't care no motherfucking cash. You might get $2. And I only had that on occasion. I don't carry no damn money. My mama tell me all the time, you really go in the store and swipe your car for a dollar, two dollars? Yes, ma'am, I do. I sure do. I'm a sure mother I can do. Now, I might keep some change on me there, a couple quarters or whatever, because as y'all see, as y'all saw, when the juice man was in the car with me the other day, in the last vlog that I did, and he wanted a juice or a soda, and um, what it is, all he has cards too, and he, didn't, he don't like to swipe his card for a couple of dollars, you know, for a dollar or two or 87 cents or whatever. So that's why I gave him that change on the video because I don't I don't carry cash like that. So motherfucker, if you think you better get anything from me, word of advice, motherfucker, you're going to be disappointed. Then I saw him, bitch, because I promise you, before you can do, before you can take two motherfucking steps, motherfucker, I'm going to be on the phone, bloop, 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 bloop disconnect that song bitch somebody done hit the girl up shop so yeah but um before that nigga you know rudely interrupted me by scaring the shit out of me uh i was saying that y'all probably won't see the juice man in any more of my vlogs and that's not because anything is going on because i know some people just automatically assume shit it's because people are crazy and this is these are my vlogs my channel and i don't really want him to be, be putting him on um my channel like that because you know he does have a job to where you know people a lot of people are from my area or finding my channel for whatever reason. I really don't want that to start affecting his job or whatever. You know, even though it's freedom of speech or whatever, he not doing anything illegal. I'm just saying, you know, it's my channel, so you'll only see me probably from here hither on out, okay? What else? Oh my god, it was something else I wanted to share with you guys. 
Also, I know I said that I was going to be doing the daily vlog thing, but I'm going to be brutally honest with you, family. Um, I don't be having shit to talk about. I don't do nothing. I swear, you guys do not want to see me every day. Like, for real. I know I keep saying that shit, but I'm for real this time. I'm, I'm not going to tell y'all no more that I'm going to do the daily vlog thing. If I'm going to do a daily vlog, then I'll upload a vlog daily. But it's not going to be like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to do a vlog every day because I really, honestly and truly, sometimes I'm like, you know, even though I work from home, sometimes I'm literally too busy to um, do vlogs and stuff like that. And sometimes I literally don't have shit to talk about because I don't do anything. Like, for real. You know, like I said, what I think I want to do, like dead serious, is I want to do um, show reviews because, you know, I just... I really think that I, that will be something that I, that I will be good at is doing show reviews because, you know, I'm an I'm a unfiltered motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm an unfiltered son bitch. So um, I really think that I will be good at the show reviews. But like I said, whatever I come up with, I will let you guys know. You guys will definitely see it. Again, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog because it's starting to get dark out here. And you know what I'm saying? I know the, the, the camera quality is going to get real, real shitty in a minute. So make sure that you guys... Add me on my Facebook page because it is always, always, always in the description box below. Also, add me on Instagram, Twitter, and, well, that's it. Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, okay? Add me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And also, make sure that you subscribe because it is what? 100% free. I'll see you in the next vlog, family. Peace.